guys it's andrea what do y'all think about this new camera angle i'm playing around with it um, i can't get past them nobody can see you you can see the doorway right here can i can't even okay that's your hand yeah when i walk by <laughs> drama okay welcome back to sew with me number two i'm trying to make <laughs> for this so scrappy spools this is by Lori Holt. I got this from Fat Quarter Shop, whom I shall link down below in the description box. I am an affiliate for them, so it'll great me, greatly help me out if you use my link when you shop to your drop. Today we're making, what are we making? Cabin block. You can't share the cutting, but that's what it's going to look like. And then, of course, the spool will be around it as well. She has us doing the spools at the end. I'm doing the spools as we go. I've already cut up my fabric, so I can't share the cutting. Okay. Yeah, y'all tell me for real what you think about this new angle. Is it too back and all encompassing? And you want it to be more focused right here. Tell me what you think. All right, first up, we're making four of these, guys. So, first, we're going to take our E-blocks and sew those all together two by two. I just pulled these out of my one and a half inch scrap box. This is so scrappy spools and it's definitely so scrappy. Dramatic. I guess I need to turn her down. I have her up from when I was doing a finishing with borders. I do feel like it, you might want it closer up. When I put my extension table on, we definitely need it back like this. Um, okay, then take the center and we're gonna put D beside it. actually succeed in my goal to making all these videos before I go on my trip. I'm getting closer and closer every day. It's getting closer, going faster than a roller coaster. Love like yours will surely come my way. Uh hey, uh hey, hey. Pressing it to the solid. I think the whole time we're going to be pressing to the new block, like your addition. Okay, then take these and you're going to put D block at the bottom. 
So this is the addition you're going to press towards it. This is all kinds of different designers that I'm using for these, by the way. They literally came out of my scrap boxes. Press to the new. And then we're gonna take C. And it's going to go right there. Of course, not this one because it's already got a yellow. <laughs> we'll do this. Oh, that's yellow too. Get out of her trash. There it goes. Right there. Hmm. I don't really like how that looks. There it goes right there. That's better. She's just calling this a cabin log, but it's like a log cabin. It's like a log cabin. C. Okay. Can't use that. We can use this. Maybe dark blue. Yeah, that's better. Dang old backs trying to start hurting. Damn you, body! Getting in the way of my progress. I've been sitting in here most of the day. I'm gonna take some ibuprofen. <laughs> I did stop to eat. We here a slice of pizza. Okay, then we're gonna put C up here. Let me spread these out because this is going to get, I need to make sure. That one can definitely take a yellow. Blue. This. Light green. There we go. I 
know this yellow is from Layla Boutique. I recognize it. So pretty. This is from, I think, Thimble Blossom. I, I know these are from a honey bun left over from when I did the Thimble Blossoms like log cabin kit. They're actually one from Sobeka. That was an amazing day. I love it. Okay, B. That. What? Half, oh, B. To the side. Um, not this green. We can do this blue. It is Sunday night as I'm sewing this for next week. This will probably go up Monday. Can't do this. Can't do that. Let's see. I can do this though. blast um, someone from my stash. I'm all turned around now. There we go. This guy? I'm going to put red. Doing, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Maybe not. Okay, then we've got this and we're going to put B at the bottom. So I'm going to go in with this guy. So the bottom,
to make sure I got these rotated right. And A is the last one. So let's see what we're working with. Let me pull this off. I need to see. Show me what you're working with. This is my quilt on the side right here. I'm making an Irish chain on my one and a half inch blocks. <coughs> and I use that as leaders and enders. <coughs> All right. Where is this going? This is going on this side of the blocks. So, I'm going to do this one because this is in all the others. <laughs> this one, because again, this yellow is in the others. Definitely cannot do this. That would look like a doodle. So this. was the last one. Okay, there's our finished block. Now I'm going to make it into a spool. So, what the... Each side of the spool will have a strip of background, which I'm doing scrappy background.
I'm hoping to maybe get one more spools done tonight before bed, but I don't know. All right, I'm gonna set that to the side. But I'm also gonna snowball. Am I doing this right? Excuse me, you wanna check the sky? Yep. Snowball right here, corner to corner. Right sides together. So I'm checking that background because it's a tone on tone. Tricky. I still have all day tomorrow, I can sew, except for when I gotta go get these gargantuans redone. So I'm not working tomorrow. I think I can get everything caught up then. I still got a bunch of unboxings. Oh, I've been so busy. So busy. I love this fabric. This is from the Mercantile Layer Cake. Isn't it pretty? Little pink poofy flowers. Let's do these two. These are my other two spools. Same thing. This stuff like this always reminds me of my grandmother McPherson. This print is just like some, her little shirts she would wear that were like aprons, but they were shirts that snapped down the front. Um, I just had this right, vague recollection of them. Sleeveless. What the heck those things were supposed to be? I guess they were supposed to be like aprons, but...
think I ever ate one thing that woman cooked, ever cooked. I, I don't remember her cooking at all. This is my mother's mom. So, but mom, I know she cooked all the time when mom was growing up. But she told me, and I've got her cookbooks, but I guess she was retired from that by the time her grandkids came along, because we even lived with her for like a year when we were building our house out here on this property. And honestly, I don't think she ever cooked not one time. I hate that woman to eat. Now my other grandmother, Callum, oh, she cooked. I ate at her house all the time. And I make some of her recipes that mom told me she used to make her all the time. But I never had them. I have to ask my mom about that. I remember at that time, this was back, you know, when people actually got newspapers delivered. I'm sure some people still do, but it's, you know, not like it used to be. But every week, um, well, every day, actually, the newspaper, by the comics, there was kid recipes. And I loved those. I would clip them and save them and make them. I would cook, and I was in sixth grade. I was like 12. All right, trim these. My mom's like the worst family historian. I try to ask her about her family history and her ancestors and, and she's like, I don't know. She could care less. And I'm so into that stuff, right? I'm very much into ancestry and old family stories. And my mom is just like, meh. So I, a lot of times when I was doing our family history, I would tell her stories about her family, her grandparents and aunts and uncles that she had no clue about. I'm like, that just blows my mind. I know she grew up wealthy. Uh, so my granddaddy was an engineer, college educated engineer, and he made good money. And I know they were like one of those families like from the help, you remember that? The <laughs> good movie? Well, that was my mom's family on the, the bad side. That was, that was them with their she was raised basically by their maid, she said, Jessie. I actually have the picture of them together. The stereotypical, you know, back in the 60s black maid thing, which I know they were horribly racist too, she told me. <laughs> and she got sent to bed early without supper one night, she said, because they were talking at the table about, go back to Africa, all of the racist stuff. And mom's like, those are be here just as much as us. And she got sent to the dinner without, she got sent to bed without supper that night. Obviously I wasn't very close with that side of the family. Mom wasn't very close with that side of the family. And that was in um, Memphis, Tennessee. So, deep south. In Tunica, Mississippi and stuff like that.
Maybe that's why she don't really care about her family history. There's a lot of tragedy in her, that side of the family. Horrible, horrible tragedies. And mom was just like, I didn't know about that. I'm like, how could you not know about that? This was like your grandmother. It just is so crazy to me. Poor little old Jessie in that picture of her. Jessie and my mom. And it looked like it was like mom's first day in kindergarten or something like that picture. And then Jessie was in the picture with her. Just poor little old woman. I mean, she looked old as dirt and run down. She looked tired. These are turning out so cute. She wasn't a very nice woman, my mom's mom. I don't, I don't have any fond memories like I do with my other grandmother. Stella? Jesus. She's in there doing shower. Sounds like earthquake going on. I'm gonna show you all these on the floor in a minute. So we're almost done.
all these off and press them and sew on. Let's look at them. All right, there they are. What do y'all think? Hmm. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me. I'll see y'all at the next one.